why you should get into a fast immediately are you there you're struggling with uh, any of these things that I'm going to mention in this uh, video then uh, what you need to do is to get into a fast immediately and I am talking about a biblical fast a biblical fast is abstaining from food there are different kind of fast but the first i'm talking about is a biblical fast is based on god's word and um so uh, i will mention some of the things that if you're struggling with these things it is important and it is good to get into a fast immediately don't overthink it uh, just a uh, seek god of course before you get into uh, any a practice that is in the Bible a uh, seek God but um, uh, based on uh, what I have read uh, from this uh, scripture uh, one of the things that you can do if you identify that you're struggling or you're dealing with these uh, things that I will mention in this video uh, one of the uh, things that you need to do is to get into a fast immediately so watch the entire video to the end and uh, find out god bless you hello everyone you're welcome thank you for always uh, returning to watch my videos i truly appreciate you so what is a fast a biblical fast is abstaining from food foundational scriptures that you can uh, read and that you can uh, seek understanding is in isaiah 58 and we are going to be reading isaiah 58 it's good to read the entire uh, chapter just to get the context just to get the background just to get understanding but we shall be looking at a couple of our scriptures so to fast and if you're doing a biblical fast is to abstain uh, from food it is to afflict your soul it is to afflict to deny your soul to deny uh, your soul when you're in a fasted state you're afflicting your soul because your will wants to eat your body wants to eat but you are are uh, shutting your will your desire uh, for food and and you're afflicting your soul you're saying no uh, to food uh, to concentrate yourself uh, to focus on on god hallelujah so when you're fasting it is not uh, you're not trying to change god uh, it is afflicting your soul hallelujah it is dealing with your soul it is uh, you want to focus on God you want to um, remove every distraction when uh, you're uh, eating uh, it takes a lot of things you have to prepare you have to uh, so many so many things are involved in a meal preparation so when you abstain uh, from food you afflict your soul you remove your uh, focus and attention uh, from food you deny yourself you afflict your mind your will your emotions and now you focus on uh, God and you allow God uh, to uh, work on you and uh, to deal with certain things uh, in your life and it also returns your focus uh, back to God. So um, what are some of these things? If you're struggling with these things, I'm going to share from you from the book of Isaiah uh, 58. So keep watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, let uh, me know if you're dealing with any of these things that I'm going to mention. Before you get into a biblical fast, you must have a, a BDA strategy. And what a BDA strategy is, uh, what are you going to do before, during, and after? And we are going to look at that. So before you get into a fast, you have to seek God. Yes, you have identified you're struggling with some of these things. Uh, seek God. Prepare your heart. Prepare your, your body prepare yourself as at least uh, 48 hours prior to starting or 24 hours so that uh, you begin to adjust your schedule you begin to prepare your body so that you are going to have an effective uh, fasting and um, you need to know what are you going to be doing during the fast and what you need to do after the fast and we are going to get into that Isaiah 58 I'm reading from the New Living Translation, verse 8. Then your salvation will come like the dawn, and your wounds will...
quickly heal. Your godliness will lead you forward and the glory of the Lord will protect you. Then when you call, the Lord will answer. Yes, I am here. He will quickly re reply. Remove the heavy yoke of oppression. Stop pointing your finger and spreading vicious rumors. Feed the hungry and help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out from darkness and the darkness around you will be as bright as noon. Verse 11, the Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Some of you will rebuild and des the deserted ruins of your cities. Then you will be known as a rebuilder of walls and a restorer uh, of homes in Jesus' a mighty name. Are you struggling with, uh, you want to find direction, you're lacking direction in your life. There is a certain form of darkness. You're not clear about what next thing you need to do. You want to make a decision. And there is a lot of darkness. There is a lot of, um, you're not having any light. Remember it says in verse 11, the Lord will guide you continually. So if you lack guidance, if you lack direction, if you are encountering darkness, and in the Bible, darkness uh, represents ignorance. It represents um, as something that is not clear. It represents as something uh, that is contrary to God's word because Jesus is the light in uh, in his light we see light the word of god is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path so that talks of direction that talks of illumination so do are you struggling with uh, making a decision about a certain uh, situation a certain matter then uh, that is one reason that you need to uh, go into a fast immediately because there is darkness in that area a double-minded man is unstable in all his way so are you double-minded about something are you not seeing the end of that thing you're not seeing a clear path you need to go into a fast immediately over that uh, matter and i'll be telling you the different kind of fasting you can do a partial fast you can do a total fast where you're abstaining uh, from food and water and um it's recommended not uh, to do uh, to abstain from water for over 72 hours because your cells need a uh, water and you can also be on a total fast even when you're taking water because water is vital even for the function of your internal organs uh, so abstaining uh, from food you can decide uh, to also abstain from water but don't uh, um, uh, do it in an uh, um, a longer period because actually water has zero calories uh, there is it is it is just empty it it has one of the functions is for you uh, the working of your uh, internal organs to keep your organs also functioning and the internal function of your body uh, so you can decide on the type of fast you want the duration also matters if you're a beginner uh, start slowly and build it up so you can start uh, with a Hours. You can uh, do a um, 12 hour fast from the time you wake up and begin to build it up. And that is why we said even before you start, you seek God, ask God how long. Uh, but if you know you need to get immediately, start from where you are. Don't struggle uh, from the time you wake up. That sleeping time, use it as a fasted time and just push your first meal. Take your breakfast at 12 or take your breakfast at 9. Uh, do something that is going to uh, is going to be a sacrifice uh, because uh, that is going to um, involve your will uh, abstaining. If it's easy for you, then you're not getting into a fasted state. So start with hours. From the time you wake up, push it six hours. Something that is a denial, something that you're afflicting your soul. So you're focusing on God. So you can start with six hours, build it to 12 hours, uh, build it to 18 hours, build it to uh, 24. So you can do a six to six adjust it according uh, to your uh, lifestyle uh, so that you can uh, be able to focus and so that you can remain uh, faithful. So start uh, small and build it. Start with the hours, 
uh, pick a day that um, is flexible for you if you really have a busy schedule. You can even fast an hour. You can just skip lunch. Start from somewhere. Don't overthink it. The, th the, the thing is that you're actually afflicting your soul. You're de denying yourself uh, the attention that of food and you're placing that attention to God. You're seeking God uh, in praise, in worship, in Bible study. Uh, so uh, that is one reason why you should start a fast immediately if you're having darkness, if you're lacking direction over a certain thing. And you know, this is a very important thing. Uh, you need to get into a fast immediately and uh, you need to seek God and you need to read the word. So God bless you. I hope this was helpful. Uh, watch my next uh, video and that is going to be a great uh, blessing. Follow for more. Subscribe subscribe like and share and go to my description and watch my uh, entire playlists that i have uh, given down there in the link in the description shalom and grace to you god bless